Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an interesting tool called as the GK Realm. Well, GK Realm is basically a monitor with uh, a lot of inbuilt plugins and some external plugins. So, what exactly is GK Realm is what you can see on the right hand side of the screen right now this thing is GK Realm basically it provides you a lot of interesting information about your system which is currently going on in your system in a nice visual manner so let's go ahead and see what all things are there and how you can spice up your desktop screen so before we start this is the GK Realm website. If your system doesn't support or has GK Realm available in the repositories, you can download it from this site. And if you're looking for plugins, extra plugins, you can check out this website for the extra plugins. There are a lot of interesting extra plugins which you can go through and download about the skins you can get a lot of different skins like this this or this something like this some interesting skins are there these you can go ahead and download from this other website muhuri.net here you will get the latest skins which are there for GK Realm it also discusses about how you can make skins for GK Realm if you want. So let's have a look at what are the things that are provided in GK Realm. So if you have installed it and when you initialize it, right now it's showing me my machine name, whatever I have kept, the date. This is the CPUs or the you know, four cores or whatever are there they are being shown over here this is the number of processes users from proc information this is the information about the temperature voltage and other things there is a disk usage how much disk usage is going on that this one is my net internet which I'm using from my mobile phone right now so configured it to show incoming and outgoing traffic so if I like try to go to let's say some website so you'll see the incoming and outgoing traffic so this is the incoming upper one and this is the outgoing traffic so similarly there are few other things uh, there is a reminder this is the swap meter and uh, this is the charging indicator over here so how do you configure uh, this thing basically you can simply right click on it and go into the configuration and you will get the configuration box so there are some general settings like display the host name system name display if you have system you can see it is coming up over here those kind of things and other stuff for each and everything there are certain properties and information relating to that particular topic so you can go through it there are some built-in things or sensors that are available uh, the ones which are enabled right now are mostly from the built-in ones so sensors these are the temperature sensors which you can see right here which is displaying the temperature so you can decide which ones to show and which ones not to show according to you it also shows the battery voltage over here now if you have any fans or something then uh, you could if it is supported then it might show the fan speed and other things so you might get some options here the next is clock it has a calendar part and clock part so calendar is already showing up over here and the clock part is you can enable the clock if you want 
and you can set the time string and other things from here so how do you set the time string and other things you can check out from the info part how it is to be set I think there are some predefined setups also you can try selecting them for how it can be displayed next is the CPU part so here I have uh, showing me four CPUs over here as the cores or something like that so if you don't want these to be displayed as four different ones or the ones which you want to get displayed you can select them or if you don't want all of them to be shown you can select the composite CPU and it's going to show you the composite CPU so but it looks quite interesting with four or whatever cores other CPUs that is showing up it looks it makes it look more nice then this is about proc how many processes users and other things so you can enable the proc chart again the disk read write activity is available from here I have two hard drives one is a SSD another is the normal drive so I can actually enable them separately if I want so this is the two drives read write activity which it is showing over here so if, if we try to enable something you should be able to see some activity on these then there is for internet the net which you are connected via your Wi-Fi or something like that so this one is my Wi-Fi I have labeled it as phone and you can select which ones to display so usually connected to the Wi-Fi of my phone so I have enabled this memory is it displays your available RAM so you can see in the end it is showing us this you can click on that and it gives you some different informations over there if you want to enable swap you can enable the swap meter how much swap is there how much is available not used and so on then there is for file system if you have certain uh, partitions which you want to mount you can do it from here mail checking battery as I've shown you enable battery and uptime uptime displays for how long your machine has been up so these are the built-in sensors there are some plugins that you can get from the GK realms website and it has some interesting plugins like there's a plugin for CPU frequency so one of the interesting plugins is this GKHD plop it shows the hard drive activity in a very interesting fashion over here you can see so if I trigger some kind of hard drive activity you will see some stuff going on over there here you can see if as soon as I enable some hard drive activity so this is a quite interesting plugin over here another plugin is uh, that is quite interesting is this GK Realm BFM it uh, shows you the memory or RAM usage on your system okay so uh, you can configure this is quite interesting you can have CPU memory uh, duck fish and uh, some fishes show some network traffic if there is a high network traffic so uh, this is our GK realm utility so how do you add uh, the new skins uh, that you have downloaded or the new plugins so in your home directory you'll have a hidden GK realm 2 directory inside that you have themes you just need to download the tar.gz or tar files and you just have to uncompress it and the theme will automatically start showing up uh, over here from the configuration you can get the list of all the themes similarly if you have downloaded a plugin you just have to put the plugin over here and it should show up if you have installed the plugins directly via your 
package manager then it is installed globally so that's about GK Realm download it install it and make your desktop look cool thanks for watching if you liked my video do subscribe to my channel for further updates and new interesting videos thanks for watching